Okay, this is going to take to command two, playing the scenario 11, the 1864 Avalon campaign with the Shenandoah extension. This is the situation at the end of turn 12. Um, now this turn was a bit of a waste of time because uh, it ended very quickly due to the uh, the initiative roll system where you can uh, if you throw double ones and then you throw a certain value on a dice that the turn ends quickly and it's ended very very quickly here uh, there's been quite a bit of manoeuvre down south there was an abortive attempt to attack Petersburg defences which caused a huge amount of Union casualties and achieved nothing uh, apart from that, there was a bit of manoeuvring going on between the various forces. Now, the Confederacy have sort of got themselves fairly well organised now, so uh, the situation isn't as bad as it looked here. Uh, but we've still got Union forces moving on Richmond, but they've got nowhere near enough units to make any impact on Richmond defences, because there are a few Confederate units blocking them. Um, if you look at other areas, there was a bit of manoeuvre going on uh, around Spotsylvania Courthouse. Uh, Union had a couple of attacks again, but achieved nothing. They attempted an army attack, but they only found a six, which reported the whole attack. So uh, they lost a, a couple of units and achieved absolutely nothing. They are pushing around the Confederate flanks now, so the Confederates position I don't think they can hang on there much longer I think they've traded enough time um, and they've inflicted quite a lot of casualties because the unions have just had some bad luck on the dice rolls um, other stuff there was no activity at all in the Shenandoah uh, and pretty much no activity anywhere else on the board uh, so it's now we've got a strategic phase to play. Uh, there's no reinforcements due. The Union have got some replacements coming in. There's obviously a strategic phase roll, which could cause stuff. Uh, the Union last strategic phase, they had to withdraw a load of their artillery, and that affects the victory points. They've succeeded in withdrawing three artillery units as uh, ordered by the system. We've also got the uh, command postures for the Shenandoah and the Bermuda 100 fronts to regain the strategic phase. So all in all, that was a bit of a nothing phase. Uh, the Confederates are still doing all right. They've just got to be careful they don't get completely surrounded and bagged uh, at Spotsylvania. Uh, these Union units getting close to their uh, supply depots here. If these supply lines are severed, they'll have to retreat anyway. Um, they would have to retreat into one county uh, from Richmond, which is what they did historically um, when they fought at Cold Harbour, which effectively ended this campaign. Um, Right, that's it.